Okay, in this example, we want to find the height and the perimeter of an isosceles triangle whose area is 24 square feet and whose base is 6 feet. So we've got a couple things to, to do in this, in this example and a couple things to remember. So first off, recall that an isosceles triangle, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides that are the exact same length. Maybe I'll call it length L and length L. I don't know what they are, but they're the same. And then it also has a base, which is a different, uh, a different value. It's not going to be the same length as L and L. We know that the base is 6 feet. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to know is, you know, what the heck is an isosceles triangle? Well, they give us that the area is 24 square feet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is find the height here. So the way that I'm going to do that, recall that the area for a triangle is we take one half and we multiply that by the base and then multiply that by the height. So the height, this is what we're trying to figure out here, this value of h. Well, let's see, we're given that the base was 6. Well, hey, we're also given that the area is 24. So my first goal in this case is to solve for h. Well, okay. If I take 1 half and multiply that by 6, recall that I can write 6 as 6 over 1. Right, 6 divided by 1 is still just 6. With fractions, we just multi multiply across the numerator and the denominator. 1 times 6 would be 6. 2 times 1 would be 2. Well, 6 divided by 2 is just going to give us 3. So the last thing I want to do is get h all by itself. Well, since I'm multiplying by 3, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 24 divided by 3, that's h. So we now have the height of our triangle. We know that the height of our isosceles triangle is 8. Well, that still doesn't tell me the side lengths, right? And to get the, the perimeter, I would take 6 plus this side length plus this side length. The perimeter is just the distance around. But again, the problem is I don't know L. So what I'm going to do to find L in this case is I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So notice if I drop this line right down the middle, I make two triangles. I've got this triangle on the right and the triangle on the left. So I'm just going to imagine this triangle on the right side. Again, we know that it has a height of 8. That's what we just figured out. Well, if the entire base had a length of 6, if we take half of that, that's going to give us 3. So this is the, I should write P, let's write perimeter. Okay, so ultimately that's what we were trying to, that's the other thing we have to figure out. So I've got a little right triangle here. And let me grab another piece of paper, just to remind you on the Pythagorean theorem. Let's maybe call this X, this Y, and I'll call this side length Z. Recall the Pythagorean theorem says if you take the side lengths, x squared plus y squared, that's going to equal the hypotenuse squared, the long side. So in our example here, I've got a side length of 3 and 8. So that tells me that 3 squared plus 8 squared, that's going to equal this value of L. Okay, so that's going to equal L squared. Well, let's see, 3 times 3, that's 9. 8 squared, that's 8 times 8, that's 64. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. 9 plus 64, that's going to give us 73. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Since L is being squared to get the L by itself, I'll take the square root. If I take the square root of the right side, I've got to take the square root of the left side. And let me get a calculator out here. Um, so let's see. Let's do the square root of 73. I'm getting that to be 8.54, roughly. So 
So that's going to be our value for L. So now we can go back to our triangle. The base was 6. Now we know that each of these side lengths, that's going to be roughly 8.54 and 8.54. So the perimeter in this case, that's going to be 8.54 plus 8.54 plus 6. So again, I'm just going to put this in my calculator, and then we will be done. So 8.54 plus 8.54 plus 6. I'm getting 23.08 as being the perimeter of our triangle.